Good early morning. <laughs> I am not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. I, what time is it? Yeah, it's very, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but <sighs> yesterday was not a good day. So I'm just out being all just, you know, unable to sleep. Anyway, um, too much information. So I was going through the internet, looking at news about Harry and Megan, and I saw this article. Oh my god. I saw this article. Um, Prince Harry's battle with Rupert Murdoch continues over 100 alleged payments for stories. So, okay, so... I'm not going to say that I'm like the biggest expert on this story with Harry and the lawsuits he has filed in the UK. And um, I mean, he's filed several, a lawsuit against several newspapers, but it seems that most of these papers are owned by, by Rupert Murdoch. And, um, and Rupert Murdoch also happens to own Fox News in New York. And I think it also owns the New York Post as well. And so Harry is seeking 200,000 pounds, which strikes me as a very, very small amount. I wonder what he'll do with that money. He'll probably use that to just, you know pay his lawn guy to mow the lawn for a couple of months or something like that. So it's not like a lot of money, but I think he's not the only one in the, um, in the lawsuit. You know, he's, um, he's, he's appearing with several other people. So I guess altogether they, they may be asking a tidy sum. I mean, at least, you know, at least a million, but, Nothing compared to what uh, Murdoch had to pay out to Dominion um, last week in New York. I think a federal judge ordered Fox News to pay. Oh God! To pay. Um... <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm yawning all over the place. It's four o'clock in the morning. Um, to pay over seven hundred million dollars to Dominion for its allegations against Dominion, you know, for for election fraud, you know, with their their voting machines or whatever, and um, and so that's like a lot of money. 700 million so harry asking for and how tucker carson tucker carson is um is now fired as a consequence of the whole dominion thing and tucker was like a big star in fox and he was peddling all these you know these these lies <sighs> Oh, it was like petting all these lies about the machines and stuff. And uh, now Murdoch has to pay $700 million. And so it sort of begs the question whether Murdoch will also have to pay Prince Harry. You know, but it's only 200000 It's not a lot of money. You know, but the whole thing is that The whole thing is that um, Murdoch, Murdoch could, yeah, he could be, he could be found, you know, liable, because Harry's basically saying that they hacked into his, his phone and you know engaged in all kinds of, I guess, unlawful and unethical practices to get information on him, you know, back in the day when he was, you know, still living in in London and 
when he was, you know, trying to date and things like that. And and that and Harry saying that um Murdoch paid or oh, Murdoch's newspapers paid investigators to hack into his phone and um yeah there's so much going on maybe too much you know I can't keep up with all my own issues and then all this stuff and I'm just like I can't even sleep anymore um <laughs> I don't recall reading this in his memoir about News UK CEO Rebecca Brooks. I don't recall reading and having said that about her. That's quite a quote, you know. It's quite a quote. And, um, but apparently. Harry also said in his book that his dad concocted a deal with Rupert Murdoch's news group newspapers not to bring legal action against the press. Is that true, Harry? I mean, that can't possibly be true. Did your dad do that? That's outrageous, actually. I mean, that's like, it's almost suicidal, too, because if you can cut this kind of, I mean, you literally sign a deal with the devil. It's like pact with the devil. You you, you, you bring a deal not to bring a, a legal cases against the press, but I mean, sometimes I think Clearly, the press goes too far, clearly. And the thing is that I wonder whether the UK needs to re, you know, it needs to overhaul its laws with regard to the press because I, I think the press over there is really out of control. Oh, my God. I'm yawning until tears are coming out of my eyes. Do excuse me, my darlings. If this annoys you, just skip to the next video because it's 4 o'clock in the morning and I shouldn't even be up doing this. But, you know, too much stress. But, yeah. Um, what was I saying? So, I have no idea what I was saying. But the thing is that Harry... You know, when you make a pact with the devil like that, if his dad did that, yeah. So I think that the UK laws, free speech, well, not free speech, but freedom of the press laws in the UK, whatever those laws are, I'm not even sure what the text is, but they need to overhaul it. Because the press there is, is out of control and I think there is a fine line between freedom of the press and and then tortious conduct. And I don't think that the press should be allowed to engage in tortious and harmful conduct. All in the name of freedom of the press. I think that's true everywhere, even in America. I think that um, they need to take a look at this because, you know, these are just man-made laws and man can make mistakes. I mean, man can forget to put certain constraints on stuff. And that's why the American Constitution has so many amendments, you know. And I think this idea of freedom of the press is something that needs to be looked at and overhauled. I mean, in, in some instances, I think the, the press in the UK, something something is wrong there. Something is wrong there. They need some guardrails, I think.